Hey guys, if you are a React developer and you're looking for a new state management library for your React applications, I'm going to give you the top five React state management libraries that you guys should be looking at in 2022. Yeah. Let's get started. Now, let's say you have a very simple component like this one, right? You can pretty much see that there is a state to this, right? And keeping track of where the slides are happening. You can basically use what comes with React, which is your state hooks, right? Your life cycles. You could basically use the hooks that come with React, right? And of course, you might even use the context API if you have multiple components that need to communicate with each other, okay? This is the basics. This is the stuff that you should be using for basically 80% of the time, okay? But the moment you're building applications that are big, something like this, like Zillow.com, where this is a huge website and every single component here needs to communicate with each other as the data changes, right? The location changes, everything got to re-render, right? Guess what? If we change the price, right? Or we change the bedrooms or the home types, etc. All of these components need to re-render and somebody needs to manage that state, okay? And at that point, right? Even doing it with just the state hooks in, in the context API, it could get a little bit messy, right? It could get a little bit crazy, right? Not saying that you can't do it, but at the end of the day, you might want to use a library. Now let's start with the first one, which is Redux. Now Redux has been around for a very long time. Okay. This is probably one of the originators when it comes to uh, state management libraries. Okay. Very popular. And again, this is where we got introduced to reducers. This is what we got introduced to the stores, right? Um, subscribe, dispatch, right? Some of the stuff in here. Uh, this is pretty much how you use Redux if you guys have never seen it. Now in this video, I'm not planning on teaching you guys each one of these libraries. I'm just going to give you guys, you know, the resources, right? And show you guys what's out there. All right. So again, like I said, Redux, this is the originator. This is one of the first ones. Okay. Uh, it brought a lot of cool things into the space of React, but the boilerplate is kind of ridiculous okay and this is why we have this other library called rematch now rematch is much simpler to set up okay you can set up your state you got your reducers right you have your effects okay uh, but it's much easier and easier to manage as far as like you know the boilerplate right you don't have to have your different actions and you know sending this dispatch and this this and that like there's a lot of stuff that goes into redux that could make it a little bit complicated uh but as you guys can see in here this is pretty much all you need okay it's very simple you know pretty straightforward okay um and, and that's about it right now another one that we have here is called recoil and recoil is another uh library right so it's, it's a bit different right than what you see with uh redux but at the same time you know uh you have your your atoms right you have a couple of different things uh to manage your your you know your state which is not bad i'll be honest this is not my favorite one okay uh, but yeah, we have to let you know that yes, there is recoil JS. Okay. Another one that we have here is called Zustend, right? And this is probably one of my favorite ones because it's so simple to use, right? Okay. You basically install Zustend. All right. From there you go in, uh, import the create. Okay. You could create a variable called you store. Okay. You create your store, you pass in all of the values, right? And also too, you have like your methods that you're going to be able to change uh, the state and that's pretty much it. Okay. Then bind your components and that's it. <laughs> this is probably the easiest one, right? Besides of course the regular state, right? And, uh, and the same hooks that come with react. Okay. This is probably the easiest one out of all of them. Okay. Now there's another one called Jotai. And Jotai is to me, right? It's similar to what Recoil does, okay, um, in, in some type of ways, right? But 
again, this, I just needed to go in and mention this one because this one's also out there. Some people use it, all right? So I have to let you guys know that at least it exists out there. So we have five of them, okay? We have Redux, which is the most popular one, right? This is what most uh, major companies use. Then you have Rematch, which makes Redux much easier, okay? Then from there you have Recoil, and then from there you have Zustan, which is super simple, okay? Now I also wanna say to you guys, like if you're still learning React or you want to learn React, you should definitely check out my website, codingphase.com, where we teach you everything that you need to become a developer, okay? As far as like a web developer, right? Now, we have different career paths. You could get in as a content editor, HTML email developer. You wanna focus on the front end, back end, full stack, React developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer, PHP developer. But let's just say you wanna focus on the front end, right? You pretty much have access to all of these courses right here for 20 bucks. Instead of you going to other platforms and buying each course individually, for $20, you get access to all of the courses. And pretty much you're getting one instructor teaching you, right? And having something that's consistent, so you're not lost, right? The goal is to get you into a job, and the goal is to get you to learn these things as fast as possible. So I would say definitely check out codingphase.com. Like I said, you have all of these career paths in here that you guys can get access to, you know, just for 20 bucks, right? You wanna become a full stack developer, you get access to all of these courses here for just $20, okay? You don't have to go in and buy each course individually. Just sign up for a subscription, $20 per month, right? and you get access to all the programming courses. Now, if you need extra help, you can become a Diamond member, right? And you could get the tutorials, the community access, programming courses, the career bundles and projects, exclusive live events and content, right? The group coaching that we do every Monday, 7 p.m., right? So if you need the extra help, you could definitely upgrade to the Diamond. Uh, but at the end of the day, you could just get started with 20 bucks which I always recommend people to get started with, you know, the least amount of money, just so you could see if you really want to become a developer or even if the platform is for you. So definitely go check it out, guys. Hopefully this thing uh, has helped you guys out in the sense of what's out here as far as like different, you know, state management libraries, right? Like I said, you know, my favorites are Rematch and also to Zustan. Um, back in the days I used to use Redux, but nowadays it's either going to be state context API. And if I have to, then I'm just going to go with Sustain or rematch. All right. So yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.